This is a computer-made movie. The box represents a satellite, which is now in a circular orbit going over the poles. In the upper right, a clock counts off the number of orbits. Gravity gradient torques force the satellite's long axis to point toward the Earth. Exactly this effect keeps one face of the moon always pointing toward the Earth. This is very useful for weather or communication satellites, where either an Earth-pointing camera or an Earth-pointing antenna is desired. In the rest of the movie, we shall look at the satellite only in a reference frame that is orbiting, as the satellite is doing now. Here is the same motion in the orbiting reference frame. Two gyros mounted in the satellite produce damping. The spin vectors of these gyros are shown on the sides of the box. The gyros are now jammed against stops, which are shown by dots. Because the gyros are not moving relative to the satellite, an undamped conical motion develops. But this doesn't persist. The gyros finally come off the stops, and damping takes place. The satellite then comes to rest on the screen. Of course, this really means that the satellite is Earth-pointing. We found one motion where the gyros could jam against the stops and cause the satellite to tumble over and over forever. Analysis showed that such motions could be made unstable by moving the gyro stop. Here we have the new placement of the stops. The satellite now writes itself and settles down to the desired Earth point orientation. Thus, by imitating the moon by means of the gravity gradient effect, together with two gyros, we get a very simple and useful attitude control system.